think one of the one of the big issues, obviously, around all of healthcare and, and health issues are privacy issues, and it's been one of the reasons it's been difficult to get online information. You're giving people a great deal of information about themselves. How is that protected, and why should we trust you to? You look nice, but... <laughs> Well, we take that very seriously, mm -hmm. and we have privacy policies, and we're setting up infrastructure and using the latest technology to ensure privacy as much as we can. Mm -hmm. That said, you know, we live in the times of, of, of you know, uncertainty sometimes about what people right. can do to get access to information, right. but certainly everything we can, we are, we are doing to mm -hmm. ensure that. I guess the idea is, can you, can you hack, even getting this information puts it out there, even no matter how much you protected, the government could come in and take it from, or insurance companies, or? Yeah, we do a lot to actually make sure that anything associated with your name is actually separated from your genotype. Mm -hmm. So, um, the government, you know, if for some reason there is a subpoena, we would do everything we could to fight that subpoena for mm -hmm. it. Um, we also cannot, at the end of the day, guarantee that if you sent us a sample, that that sample actually came from you. Right. So there's because it's done through the mail. Right. And we're not there watching a person provide a someone else sample. could be spitting, for example. Someone else yeah. could be spitting, and it could be under your credit card, and it could be under right. your name. So there's a level you can't actually guarantee that. Mm -hmm. You know, your genetic information in and of itself, I mean, if, if I found you and I was able to match that specifically with you, I could find it. But it's hard if I just get your list of ACGs and Ts, huh? what exactly would I want to do with that? Well, can you find the actual person based on this, this bit that you have? I mean, that you can actually locate the, you know, you can start to identify, I mean, that's the whole frightening part of it, the yeah. idea of being able to locate and find people. Yeah, I, you could get, I mean, if you somehow were able to hack into someone's file and then you went and, and you ha at first had no idea who that person was, but then right. you somehow found this person and you got their saliva and matched right. that up, right. that seems pretty... It's, uh, it just it's what people are scared of. It's what I mean. Yeah. This whole huge amount of information. I think privacy is going to be the biggest issue. Um, we going think that forward. this is going to be an area similar to banks. People had right. a, people had hesitancy about doing banking online, and right. I think it's going to be the same. Like people right. will initially be hesitant about this, and we're spending a lot of time focusing on on security right. and privacy and how can we enable. You know, some people are going to want different levels of privacy. We get a lot right. of people who come to us who say, "I have no fear of my genetic information being out there. I'm going to put it all publicly out there." Right. And we get other people who say, "I just want this to be for me." And right. the role of 23andMe is to enable right. all those different all those different privacy levels. So we spend a lot of time understanding what the banking system has done, okay. how are they been able to really ensure your um, your privacy of all your banking information. Mm -hmm. We want to apply a lot of that to what we've done here, right. as well as a lot of additional measures, because we understand that people are really sensitive about their genetic information. And inter there's a lot of genetic products going on, projects going on around the world, more more about the genetic the human genome project. There's all sorts of things trying to find out what's the, what's the ultimate point of it? I mean, to know how we're all related to one person, or what's the, what's the goal, I think, in all this information about genetics? Uh, you know, I think the goal is, is to have a basic human understanding as to, you know, why are we the way we are mm -hmm. and how could we actually use this information to potentially improve life. Okay. Um, so I think from, you know, from, you know, basic living to, you know, you know, should you be drinking caffeine to could we actually make improvements in in Crohn's disease, or could we actually identify women ahead of time, you know, at pregnancy for being at risk for gestational diabetes, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So could we actually improve, you know, aspects of life by having better genetic knowledge. And especially in pharmacogenetics, which is, you know, drugs and how your genes right. interact with drugs. That's a right. huge area that we're not making right. uh, fast enough progress, and Anne and right. I are very interested in, in moving that field forward. So right. if we get a large database of people, we can start querying them. Right. You know, do you get a stomach ache when you take Advil? Something simple like that where we might be able to find the genetic basis for right. something like that. Look at your patterns. Okay. So two women running a company, unusual, yes, in Silicon Valley? Yes. Yes. Very, very unusual. Yeah. How do you like that? We love it. It's, right. it's fun to interview, and it's fun to interview other women who right. come in and realize that this it's not it's we're not just a, a front end. Right. We're the you know we are the the people behind the company, right. and right. we think we've built a really strong team for, with the men and women who right. joined us. It's right. Really, I think right. we're very excited. Yeah, it's incredibly diverse, Silicon Valley, isn't it? It's like white guy, white guy, white guy, white guy, right. occasional woman. <laughs> right. Person yeah. of color, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So, and you're, and this is a genetics company where you're looking for diversity, presumably. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole. I'd say we actually have done. We're, I mean, we're trying. We focus, focus a lot on trying to bring in a diverse group because we want to. I mean, similar to how we want our product right. to be. Right. You know, represent all the different diversities. Right. We want. We want our employees to. The more diverse our employee base is, I think, the better our product. Will now, be. quickly explain 23andMe. 20, the name. 
Uh, you have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Right. So we wanted to have a name that was going to be fun that right. connected it to you. And essentially, right. this is about your 23 pairs of chromosomes and you. All right, let me hear about each of your interesting chromosomes. Tell me one thing you found out. You've spat and you've yes. found out something interesting. Well, one thing for me is I have twins, and I found out that they have very similar genetics when it comes to their, um, it's called the HLA region, but that's right. where you look to see if people are compatible for sharing organs. And I see. They, or, you know, they have immune systems that are compatible. Right. I found out that my twins are, but my older son is not similar to either one of them. Oh, so interesting. You learn interesting things like that that, mm -hmm. that do shed some light on. What about for you? Um, I've learned very interesting things about how I'm related to my siblings. Really? Yeah. Such as? <laughs> I, 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 thought ordered, I thought you were having a husband. Uh -huh. <laughs> we could do that too. Um, but um, no, in order to maintain our privacy. Yes. We'll, oh, we'll nothing. You don't like cucumbers. You don't like anything. Anything? Come um, on. Um, Give me a little genetic information, Anne. I'm not. I, I don't have the. I don't have the potential to really be. Uh, I don't have the fast switching muscle, so I can't really be a spectacular sprinter. Ah, she's, a disappointment for you. Cleats right, and you? Cleats. Something that you can or can't do? Oh, I'm even worse in the sprinting genes. Than really? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely not a sprinter. Really? Yeah, what but, about I'm not, but I'm also not lactose intolerant, so I can drink as much Excellent. And you? I am not lactose intolerant. Proclivity toward obesity? So we, Anything like that? I, no. No, no, we've been pretty, you know, we've been kind of boring genetically. Right, really? <laughs> <laughs> boring genetically? <laughs> Terrific. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you.